Kiora, my name is Mr. Fadzwa. I'm a registered nurse at Somerset. Somerset provides care and support to the elderly. It's like a home away from home. So my role as a registered nurse involves supporting and nursing care for the residents by doing patient assessments. We are just going to have a look at your leg. Giving them medication, advocating for them, talking to the family, leading a team of caregivers, being part of the bigger healthcare team, and generally ensuring that their independence is optimized and their health as well. Here at Somerset, we have 72 residents. On a normal shift, we usually have three nurses at a time, the clinical nurse, a registered nurse, and an enrolled nurse. We have a team of caregivers who support by providing personal cares to the patients so that the nurses can focus on the nursing care. And the son will make a GP appointment. A morning shift normally starts at 6.45. I come and I get handover from the night nurse to let me know what happened during the night. I will go and do handover to the caregivers and I can also delegate them what they need to do during this shift. I will go around checking if everyone is okay. I can then start the morning medication round. How are you this morning? After that, I can go and do different assessments, taking blood pressures for patients, doing wound care, writing up care plans, following up lab results, and any other test that needs to be done. Sometimes there can be patients who are very unwell, and as a nurse, I have to be constantly checking on those patients to see if I can give them further support. So we have Once a week, the doctor comes. I will explain to the doctor the symptoms that the patients have been presenting with. Then I'll work in partnership with the doctor so that the doctor can develop a treatment plan. I can then develop a nursing care plan for the care of the patient. At lunchtime, there's another medication round. This is also the time for me to follow up on all the residents as well. It is also the time to follow up on the caregivers. There is a lot of documentation involved evaluating the care and the interventions that we have provided and what we are going to do in the future. Towards the end of my shift, I generate a handover report for the afternoon staff so that they can carry over with the care for the residents. To become a registered nurse in New Zealand, you need to study a bachelor's degree. After finishing that, you have to write a state exam. During the nursing training, one has to do practicum. A student nurse will have to go into a healthcare facility and they have to practice under the supervision of a registered nurse. During my training, I had to do practicums in different fields, which involved mental health, public health, acute nursing, and aged care. As a registered nurse, you can work in a hospital, at the GPs in aged care facilities. You can work for private healthcare organizations. You can even work for individuals. It is easy for one to move from one field to another. Sometimes you may need to do extra training, but you can still work in any field that you prefer as a nurse. Thanks, Bill. Yeah, all right, see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. So basically being a nurse, you need to be someone who has the passion for caring for other people. It involves a lot of communication and building relationships. It goes beyond just giving medication. It is also about looking at the patient and their family as a whole. I do value developing therapeutic relationships in a way that the resident and their family determines is culturally safe. Unlike the belief that other people may have, everyone can be a nurse. Tell you what, I used to be afraid of injections, I used to be afraid of blood, but I was given all the training and the support to handle those things. If someone was to ask me, are you happy with your job? My answer would be yes, yes, yes. That's tight. Yes, it is. It's because you're feeding me too much. <laughs> we are generous, aren't we? Yes, yeah. we certainly are. Being a nurse, you get to know people. You get to help people. You can go back home knowing that you have assisted someone. And you can also know that you have promoted someone's independence. And to me, that is rewarding.